What's going on, YouTube? This is SG1 Sports, and you're watching our ACC football channel. The Virginia Cavaliers went 9-5 in 2019, the two of those losses coming in the postseason. So 9-3 and in the regular season, a schedule that really wasn't that tough, as is the case with most teams in the ACC. They did play Notre Dame in the non-conference, so they did have that challenge there on the schedule, but they didn't play Clemson. Um, and really, if you look back at their season, it, it could have went, it could have been even better than nine and three. They could have won ten or eleven games very easily, and I don't know if they ever really would have been in the playoff discussion, but uh, would have, you know, had that New Year's Six bowl been wrapped up. Um, but uh, again, the schedule not too tough in 2019. But you look ahead to 2020, and we'll see if the schedule is tougher or easier. Uh, let's look at it, and they'll, <laughs> yeah, the non-conference is a little bit tougher. Because week one, on Labor Day night, they will play Georgia in Atlanta. Uh, so basically a home game for Georgia. We know what Georgia has coming back. Virginia is going to have a new starting quarterback. That is not the way you want to start the season off. So that will be a very difficult challenge there. And then they'll play VMI on the 12th, UConn on the 19th. So they get a couple of back-to-back -back pretty easy games there that you know they should be able to take care of business in. And then it's Clemson on the road on September 26th. So I've talked... If you watch the videos I've done this offseason, I've talked about North Carolina, Virginia Tech, and Miami being uh, the, the favorites, in my opinion. Not necessarily the three best teams in the Coastal Division, but the schedules just play out in a, a better way for them. Virginia has to play on the road at Clemson. That is a very difficult matchup right there. And I know the Georgia game does not um, affect the ACC standings, but that is a tough game there as well. Uh, obviously to open up the year. So you're looking at two losses in the month of September, almost guaranteed before they head into October where they play North Carolina. They get this game at home. That's good on October the 3rd. On the 17th after a bye week, so their bye week comes between North Carolina and Georgia Tech. They go on the road to play Georgia Tech on the 17th and then on the road at Old Dominion on the 24th. They'll have Miami at home on October 31st. I know they're going to want revenge after that game last year. Kind of slipped away from them. Uh, I remember that game very well. I thought Virginia was, was the better team, but um, they just, just couldn't capitalize in the red zone and, and made some mistakes, and Miami wound up winning that game. So two big conference, two big division games, I should say, in the month of October, both at home for Virginia, North Carolina and Miami. So if this thing comes down to a, a three- or four-way tie, you know, it gets crazy in this Coastal Division, uh, having those games at home and maybe having some head-to-head -head victories could bode well for Virginia. Maybe that could be enough to, to put them uh, in that number one spot in the Coastal. We'll have to wait and see, obviously. But then into the month of November, they play Louisville on the 7th. You're talking about maybe the second best team in the Atlantic Division. I know it's, it's tough to really say right now who that number two team is going to be. But Louisville definitely could be that team. They beat Virginia last year. So their crossover matchups with Clemson and Louisville, very, very difficult. And that's what makes this schedule tough. Uh, not only in the ACC, but of course, then they have Georgia in the non-conference. So a pretty tough schedule for Virginia. They're on the road at Duke on a Friday night on the 13th of November. That's a game that, you know, is going to be tough. Those Thursday, Friday night games on the road are always difficult. And I think that game could be pretty tough for Virginia as well. They'll have Pitt at home on November 21st. Another big game in the division. And like I said, they do have some big games in the division at home. North Carolina, Miami, and Pitt, uh, the toughest road game probably in the division is going to be that final game of the year on the road at Virginia Tech. Uh, so I just think the path to an ACC Coastal Division Championship for Virginia is tougher this year with Clemson and Louisville on the schedule. Of course, they played Louisville last year. And then just their overall schedule, I think, is a lot tougher because you have Georgia uh, on there, and it's week one. So that just makes it really, really tough. Uh, they do have VMI, UConn, and Old Dominion, so you've got three games that are basically cupcake games. But all in all, I think it's a respectable schedule, especially for an ACC team. Uh, it's a schedule that, uh, again, it is respectable. If you compare it to an SEC team schedule or a Big Ten team schedule, and you compare those head-to-head, -head, maybe it's not uh, super difficult. But for an ACC team, this is probably one of the more difficult schedules in the conference uh, so the bad news is you got to play Clemson and Louisville. Plus in the non-conference you got Georgia. The good news is you get some key division matchups at home in North Carolina, Miami, and Pittsburgh. That could be the difference. You never know if the Coastal Division winds up being really, really tight. 
uh, because there are a lot of contenders in there. And if they can get some of these games at home in the division, Virginia, who knows? Maybe they make it back to the ACC championship in 2020. 